Thank you. Hey. My name is Peter Huntoon. I'm a painter from Middletown Springs. I've been painting for a long, long time, most of my life. Um, I have not been presenting for most of my life. So, uh, what I've learned, and I've heard it said a couple times here today, you can't say no to Mark. So, uh, I try. <laughs> So, the questions uh, she presented me with were, uh, have you had recent challenges, uh, have you had a, a big marketing leap, and is it paying off, and the answer is yes. So, these wonderful organizations we've heard, some, heard from so far, here, here's my little, uh, tiny little micro uh, artist uh, story of the last few miles, what I'll call my, my yellow brick road. And I could jump right to, to what I'm doing as far as innovation, but I think it's better just to, to show you the last uh, year and a half uh, in, a, in a couple of slides. This is what my world looked like for the last 25 years. A lot of people assume I'm a full-time artist, but I've done it on the side. I'm an insomniac, more or less, too. And uh, really held two careers for a long, long time. I was a color group manager for a, a paint and stucco architectural coatings company. And this is what I walked into every day about 7 o'clock. But I had other dreams. Uh, you can't see it. There's a little uh, note right in front of my computer that says, <laughs> Discipline, Focus, and Faith. And I looked at that every day. And I dreamed of this office space. <laughs> and, uh, Where's the snow? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, there were a lot of things keeping me from making that transition and probably the biggest one was courage to do that. <laughs> so the, uh, the Yellow Brick Road was, was here for, for a number of years while I was trying to build up the courage to, uh, to make the leap. And uh, that, uh, that courage came in the form of an opportunity that looked very good on paper. And that opportunity was to go back to school, get my degrees, and teach full time at a, uh, at a at a college, which uh, I have very good contacts at one particular school, and I thought that that was going to work out just great. So uh, I did go back to school while I was still at Stowe, got my bachelor's degree, but to teach full time at a college level, as you probably know, you need your MFA. So uh, turns out I needed a brain <laughs> to go with that uh, uh, courage. So. Full steam ahead, I got my, my bachelor's degree and I was on the path, I was full steam ahead. I, I, I left Stowe with, brimming with uh, confidence and enthusiasm and applied to, uh, to my MFA. I, I couldn't wait to get started and I got rejected from uh, my MFA program. So uh, here is the opportunity that we're talking about where you have to step back and, and look and see what opportunities can come from that. So I said, this must be a fluke. Uh, I've been painting a long time, selling professionally for 24 years. Uh, it must be that school. So I applied again, rejected. I said, okay. So I remember very clearly, my wife and I talk about it a lot. We sat down at, at the couch and said, what are we going to do here? And this, this was the, the, the moment of uh, revelation. Wait a minute. I, I didn't want to teach to begin with. I wanted to be a full-time artist. Maybe the universe is telling me something, telling us something. And it was like a, a weight lifted off my shoulders, all the stress that I've been, I literally six months of effort trying to, to get into a, a graduate school. And there was always this little nine thing that I wasn't listening to. This isn't the right way. It's not for me. I want to be a painter. So it turns out I needed a heart. And I needed to follow my heart. And that's what I did. And I started developing uh, what uh, I'll introduce now, and that's called the Day in Vermont. And uh, my uh, my slogan is "Follow My Heart," literally. So as I as I step back, and by the way, I, I think I could have gotten into that third college, <laughs> but I pulled back just in time. So now I never have to ask that question. I could have done it. I didn't want to. I, 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 can, I can live with that a little bit better. So. Um, stepping back now, the, the slate was clear, uh, the next 20, 20 years of my life, what am I going to do with it? So um, I, I listed my goals and, and, and at the top of the list kept coming back, I just want to share the utter joy. When I'm, when I'm painting, as, you, as an artist, you know, you know that feeling of, of uh, utter joy that uh, you just want to share it with people. And, and that's what was my top, uh, top uh, goal. 
and connection with, with Vermont, a passion about Vermont, and uh, you know, just be a good person and, and share all of that. And continue to grow. Uh, when, I, when I paint, I, I, the best paintings are the ones where I've pushed myself and I've learned something. Uh, I do teach, uh, I, I am now a uh, um, uh, part-time instructor at, at, at college. And that worked so just fine. And uh, I need to earn enough money for art supplies. Mm -hmm. I, I'm okay, but uh, I do need to eat and I do need to uh, uh, make a little bit of money. So that is on the list of goals. So once I had my goals, here was the plan. And you could call this a big marketing leap, but it's just the same stuff I've been doing for 24 years, just more of it. And uh, the result is something new. With the, with the addition of that last one, in, engage with social media, which, you know, I have a, a Facebook account, but I have no clue, you know. It's just, it's just not interesting to me to, to be on that, but I know I have to harness, I'm going to stay for the Pinterest meeting and, and all that. Uh, I know I've got to uh, take advantage of that. But uh, as I do when I learn anything, I'm pretty methodical, and I read, you know, 15, 20 marketing books over the course of a year, uh, that type of thing, uh, the current technologies, I'm no expert, uh, making it up as I go along, but uh, yeah, insert one year of uh, hard work here, and uh, the result is a new website. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's robust, it has all of the, uh, the features you would expect, uh, a shopping cart, etc., etc., but really, I think what Martha asked me to present is um, something a little bit beyond that, and maybe we can jump to my website in a, in a second, but I'll just point out the features of, of what I came up with. And I didn't really come up with this. There, there are many, many uh, artists doing similar things around the world. Uh, a daily painter, for example, if you've heard of that, there are thousands of daily painters. And in the beginning, I thought, yeah, I could paint one painting a day. But at, at the end of the, the, the day, What's your URL? Uh, peterhuntoon.com. <coughs> Yeah, if we can just go today's live, uh, that might be better. That that was uh, that was the day I proposed to Marie right there. Aww. Um, so if we go to a day in Vermont there, mm -hmm. and let's go view current auction. Is this in WordPress? It is. So in. Uh, for today, this, this posted at 9 o'clock this morning, and uh, I did the uh, Randolph Depot for today. And literally, I, I'm, this is so new, it, it's one month into it. This is my, my 12th uh, painting posted so far. So I'm posting on Monday and Thursday at, uh, in the morning. So if we go to here, with, with each um, painting, I'm also showing a little bit of the, the creative process, and I've got a lot of great feedback on that. So if you go to the next, you know, here's the actual place, here's uh, the initial sketch, and here is uh, halfway through or whatever, uh, maybe I'm on a mountain or wherever it may be, and then uh, and close that. And if you want to go to archive auction, auction archive. And scroll down and see. Uh, so far, knock on wood, I've sold every painting that I've posted. And, uh, I would stress that that's not my ultimate goal to, to produce. It's self-imposed discipline. It really is. Uh, you know, I found myself painting at nine o'clock at night because I have to post the next day. Whereas it would have been so easy to, to go to bed at that point. So. Um, all of those goals have accumulated into this particular uh, um, project that is going to evolve. On the way here, we're talking about what should I do about this and that. It, it's, it's not done and it never will be. And that's the wonderful thing about art and, and marketing, where we're constantly evolving. So uh, looking at opportunities, um, taking problems as they come up and turning them into uh, to something good, keeping an open mind. Uh, connecting uh, with, with other folks, relationships, I, I think uh, um, all that is, uh, is the bottom line. And do the right thing, and uh, 
that's, that's all you can do. decided I'm going to start the bidding at half my regular price okay. and, and that's worked out and I mean if you want to get into the numbers here's the, the quick end of it um, you know I've sold anywhere from uh, 150 was my starting uh, bid on uh, on most of these and uh, I sold one for 150 I sold one for 500 and whatever it was um, by the time I add a hundred dollar frame at, at the end of this process and most of them have ordered a frame I'm selling them for, you know, 400 bucks, say. And, uh, you know, not to say if I sold them at a gallery, I'd have to sell it for $800 or, or whatever that may be. Um, I, I just like the idea of uh, connecting directly with, with a, a buyer. That's nice, just, just for that connection. And uh, as long as I'm full and I can buy art supplies, that's, 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 my, that's my goal financially. How have you found your buyers? Are they all on your mailing list, or do you go? Um, I started with a fairly sizable mailing list of stuff that I collected over many years of uh, shows, etc. And and now you know that's starting to pick up steam. Um, you know, my second painting went to Australia. I don't know how she she <laughs> found me. Um, and that's the magic of the internet. Yeah. It's uh, it's yes. it just goes. So. Getting into Facebook and Pinterest and all those uh, you things, I think. Can subscribe to your. Yes, on, on each page, almost each page, there's a little box, you know, where you can subscribe. Mm -hmm. That's great. Well, the other thing this does is it, it encourages people to come back regularly to your website, which is always the goal, and, and mm -hmm. it's always something new, something fresh. And, yeah. you know, I, I'd like to think that I thought of this going in, and, but it, it's worked out where um, as soon as I send a post, I'm getting more orders. You know, print orders, yeah. uh, commissions, I've always had plenty of those, <coughs> and, you know, they're not slowing down. So it is, it's a, uh, um, 12 times that yeah, you have to be in front of someone. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, when Christmas comes around, I know I'm going to be in the, inundated yeah. mm -hmm. with, uh, with orders because I'm on people's minds. It's very good interaction. Yes. Yes. How would, uh, did that auction, um, uh, Feature? Did that come with your website uh, provider? All it takes is money. <laughs> <laughs> um, but is it part of uh, who you? WordPress. Um, the the guy that uh, designed this, it took a uh, kind of a off the shelf auction thing that was floating around available, but the guy had abandoned it because he had built it and too many people were asking for this, that, and the other. But um, you know, I, I invested a fair amount of money in the site and that, that process, and he took it and customized it for what I wanted, for what I needed. I'm yeah. thinking about jumping into that whole new website scene, and this might be a little bit of a personal question, but How I'm much? not to answer it, yeah. Um, he asked me not to, okay. to say that, and I'll tell you why, and he's right. It's not, uh, well, he's going to charge you more, and it, the... What he calls the heavy lifting it should be done in my mind, but it's not. He said, everybody is different. My wife is going to build a website as well. She's not going to have an auction or uh, this, that, and the other. But we're so different in what we want and what we need and our demands. And I'm a demanding son of a gun when, when I want something. Um, so I can't tell you. It's, it's not, you know, several thousand dollars and up. It's, it's not, you know, a hundred you sit your, Did you set, what was your set limit as far as your budget? But you know, it's an for me. It's an, and it sounds like for you, it's an investment. It's how was, you know, what, and, and there are off the shelf auction things, and you know, I could go on with. The drawbacks of doing this. It looks great. He's selling every painting. Geez, I'm going to get into that too. Believe me, they're already a month into this. I'm like, what did I do? Um, not, it, it's all good, and I'm going to keep doing it. But there are uh, flip sides to everything. Yeah. When you had your web website built, did they give you the software so that you can manage it yourself? 
A lot of uh, training, but yes, I, I, I am able to do virtually all updating and uh, um, administration See, on the pay, back end. You pay extra for that right up front, but then the costs go down because you can do all the maintenance yourself. In a way, if you're willing to spend all that time. Well, if it's done well, yeah. it's not that hard. I spent a whole year, if you get into the content of this site, a whole year of, uh, and, and that would have been time I would have been doing yeah. my MFA, so yeah. it all, all worked out. Yeah. Um, I, I, I know that we really want to continue to talk to Peter, but I don't want, we're going to be 10 minutes.